Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Rice. I wanna go over for you now how to use a website called Slides Go. This is gonna be super important for you to use to elevate your Google Slides or PowerPoint presentations. If you remember earlier, I said that you will need to elevate your presentations and not just use the standard templates in order to get full credit on your presentation. The reason for this is that those templates are so recognized and overused that now they've been considered boring and stale and we want to have something that's more innovative and and more modern. So the very first thing you're going to need to do before you even start Google Slides is make sure that you have it downloaded in self-service. So I'm going to click on the self-service button and I'm going to go scroll through and find alphabetically Google Slides. I'm then going to click install if it's not already installed. This will help you to see what the presentation is going to look like. Then I'm going to click out and I'm going to go to Safari. I'm going to type in slides go that is plural so make sure you type it in correctly or it will not take you to this site so I click on slides go and it's going to take me to this website where I have free Google slides and PowerPoint templates to use this is going to really elevate your presentation for us and make it really simple to build something that looks very sleek and modern so you can scroll down and see the latest ones that are trending right now but I would recommend clicking on the education tab up here at the top when you click on that tab this is going to give you more school oriented ones that are going to probably be easier to use for your actual short story presentation. What I'm going to do is just pick one. So I'm going to click on this one that says master thesis. When I click on it, it's then going to allow me to swipe through and see all the different types of presentation templates. When you download this, these are all built in ready to go, which is really nice because then you don't have to do think a lot of the thinking or the work of design. You will notice that they have great colors, interesting fonts, and cool different templates. But more importantly, you'll notice that a lot of them have icons built in, which is really helpful because that is part of the requirement for this. You will be able to add different icons and really elevate it with graphics that make sense to your story instead of just adding a whole bunch of images from Google that don't really relate very well. This makes it look more modern. Icons are very popular right now. So keep that in mind. One once I've found one that I like, I've decided this template is perfect. I'm going to click use a Google Slides theme. You can also click on PowerPoint if you would prefer. Now it's going to say make a copy. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to save it to my OneDrive, which is really helpful. That way you can already find it. You have your Google Drive set up already with your school account. So everything should be an easy to find manner. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to rename this presentation so that you can find it. So go ahead and double click where it says copy of master's thesis and you're going to name it your last name, comma, first name, final presentation. Okay, so that's the very first thing I'm gonna do. Now, one note that's very important, when you're using Google Slides, you need to stay on the web version of this and not in the app. The app is great for looking at your presentation and seeing how everything will look when it's done and final and ready to go, but all of the tools are loaded much easier on the online version, especially if you are not using a mouse. If you do have a mouse, I would definitely recommend grabbing that now and connecting it to whatever device you can because it will make it much more efficient for you later. So that's going to be the first thing that you do. And then you'll see most of the tools up at the top are very similar to PowerPoint. If you've never used Google Slides before, it is a little bit more simplified. And if you ever get stuck, do what I always do and just Google it. You can find the answer to anything on there. One last thing that I want to show you about this is you will see all of those different slides and templates have loaded. So you can pick any of them and you can duplicate them if you want to. It's up to you what you want to use and how you want to use that. So that's the first thing as you go and build through this. And then please delete all the extra slides that you do not use in your presentation. I don't need a 45 slide presentation for me to upload when all I need is the first 15. Now, if you do scroll the whole way to the bottom, this is where it's really helpful helpful and I find to be the best use of this is if you click on these blue slides, they have tons and tons and tons of icons. You can see right here, there's all different types of icons. As I said before, they're very popular. If you click on one, you can then copy it. And once you've copied it, you can then go and paste it up in your presentation anywhere. Now you've just elevated your presentation. 
Okay, remember um, on this, you can't just hit right click paste. You're going to have to do control V and then your icon will be pasted into the location that you choose. So that is something that you can use if you would like to, and then you can change the color of it. Look, they've already made the color match my background, but I can change it to something else. And the nice thing is when I click on this fill button up at the top, it actually shows me the theme and the colors used in the presentation. So I can match it without even having to try very hard. And then I can make the, move this icon around. I can make it bigger if I want to. I can um, change it and morph it to whatever I want. And now I have some graphics on the screen and it's a more elevated presentation. After you've done all of that, then all you're going to need to do when you're ready to submit this at the very end is you're going to hit the share button and share that with Mrs. Rice so that I can view this when you're ready to upload it. You're actually not going to even need to upload this into Schoology, um, but you will be able to do that as well if you want to. All right, guys, that's how you use SlidesGo. It's a great website. Please make sure you use it. And as always, think smart.